from Drew after that game. About to, uh, uh, both of my brothers, actually. They just text me that game. I think they're about to play, but they're able to watch them. What was it like for Drew to be able to see you play that game on his court? Uh, he, well, I guess he watched a little bit on TV because he wasn't there. But right. I guess it was cool. Just a blessing, I guess, pretty much. How do you feel that game's going to help you guys going into uh, Pac-12? Um, just <clears throat> beating the ranked team always is good. Obviously, it's going to give us confidence, so hopefully we can keep that momentum going into the Pac-12. What do you see as, like, um, the areas you guys have grown the most and, like, what you still need to work on? I think we've grown all around. Offensively, we were being more selfish. Defensively, again, we're being more unselfish, so we're helping out more. And if we can continue that, I think we'll be good. Obviously, getting better each game and every day in practice, that would help. But right now, we're just focused on those aspects, defense and offense, and being unselfish. And then closing out a game like Kentucky probably gets you confidence going in those situations in the future, I'm assuming? For sure, after the Michigan game, I uh, took that to heart, basically. I turned the ball over too many times. I had it a lot last game, too, but at the same time, I was able to close it out, and my teammates were able to hit big shots down the stretch. So I think going through that stuff gives us a lot of confidence. Coach was talking about how you actually asked for a blow late in that game. Yeah. How did that process come about? Because he said you'd never done that before. So how did you have the maturity to know that you need to come out and take a rest because it would help you later? Just, I was a little winded at the end of the game. So just take a break, come back in, refreshed, and I feel like it helped a little bit. How have things changed for you guys knowing, uh, knowing actually that the suspensions are definite, it's not up in the air anymore? Same thing since we started. Uh, Georgia Tech was the first game. We didn't have those guys, so it's pretty much the same. Having them back in practice help? It should, yeah. They practiced yesterday. Obviously, they're big defensive-wise and help us a lot on defense and obviously offense. Help our bigs have to guard, and if we have to switch down low, it helps us as well. What about uh, Washington State? They, uh, they won a tournament down there in uh, Orange County and beat uh, San Diego State and St. Mary's, so they seem like they're a pretty good start. Have you looked at them yet? I've watched a couple of games. I watched the game against Kansas State, I believe, and they looked good. They started off hot. They fell off a little bit, but in the Pac-12, anything's possible. We have a lot of great teams, so I feel like anybody can win any given night. Is that how big of a, did you say Arizona State's the biggest surprise of the conference so far? Not really. They've had everybody there for the past couple of years. They got couple new pieces and that really excelled them but last couple of years they've been pretty good both in my eyes at least. How important is it for you guys to get off to a good start at Pac-12 particularly since you're playing at home? Always important you got to protect home court. Uh, I think this might be my first year starting at home but it's always fun to be playing in front of the fans and all that so we got to protect home court for sure. Awesome thanks. Thanks a lot Dan. Appreciate it.